Hello guys, good morning to all. This is Mike Padua and we are back to our latest update and we are now uh, canceling the uh, uh, topical weather analysis to give you the initial update on LPA98W which is uh, expected anytime to become a tropical depression and is now uh, slowly organizing after days of uh, limited development due to uh, uh, upper level winds, wind shear. So this is for today, Thursday, July 20th, 2023. And uh, this is our English version, brought to you by Typhoon 2000 in partnership with uh, Naga College Foundation, Aboitis Power, Bank of the Philippine Islands, Avenue Plaza Hotel, and the city government of Naga, headed by our Honorable Mayor Nelson Nagashan and our Honorable Congressman Gabby Bordado of the 3rd District of Camarillo Sur. So let's proceed with our update. I'm going to show to you the quick uh, graph set that we created yesterday afternoon. And uh, this is now uh, 98W is still active at uh, more than 65% of becoming a tropical cyclone. It's currently struggling to form because of upper level winds inhibiting any development but during the past few hours it's starting to accelerate towards the north or slightly more to the north northeast and uh, anytime today it could develop into a tropical depression or even uh, if uh, delays happen maybe on friday and uh, the path of the system is still uncertain especially that four to six day forecast by the way, the uh, monsoon trough will continue to bring thunderstorms across Bicol region, uh, Sulu Archipelago, Visayas, and Mindanao. So expect these uh, uh, thunderstorms to occur every day. So don't forget to bring your umbrella. And uh, Talim is no longer a tropical depression, just a remnant low over uh, northern most portion of Vietnam. And uh, this is no longer expected to uh, strengthen. So this will die in the next uh, couple of hours through days. And the Southwest Monsoon has been uh, installed here along the coastal waters of Vietnam. Once the system moves over here, the Southwest Monsoon will again be pulled in towards the Philippine Islands. Okay. So, uh, I'm going to show to you now the first Stormwatch update that we created from our website, typhoon2000.info. This is the uh, advisory page of Typhoon2000, which I created. And uh, here's the uh, first Stormwatch. And based on the uh, tracking, uh, by the way, this track is not from uh, a single computer models. This is a blend of all computer models that we are inputting into our software and then this is now the uh, uh, forecast uh, uh, track on uh, Typhoon 2000 based on the blend of all computer models so as of now the track is uh, moving towards uh, extreme northern Luzon but remember the forecast of more than uh, three days so this is one two and three so the f the track of up to three days is at moderate to high probability particularly the uh, the forecast here but if we move into day four to day five until day six this uh, forecast remains uncertain highly uncertain because some of the uh, computer models okay like the uh, European model shows a landfall over central Luzon. That's why the cone of uncertainty is up to central Luzon and uh, the edge of that, okay? And uh, up to Okinawa because that's what most of the disparity of all computer models show as of this time, okay? And then the possible winds will increase to near 200 kilometers per hour because of uh, improving atmospheric and uh, oceanic uh, conditions so most likely we are not going to rule out the possibility of a uh, extreme 
rapid intensification. If that happens, this will become a very strong cyclone approaching the northernmost portions of Luzon. So, folks down here from uh, Central Luzon up to uh, Batanes must uh, observe or monitor the progress of LPA 98W. Once the system becomes a tropical depression, Pagasa will be upgraded or will upgrade this and uh, it will be named locally as Egai. And uh, Bicol region, uh, people are asking how about the Bicol region. Bicol region is uh, currently around uh, 10 to 30 percent strike probability. So we still don't know what will be the forecast after three days, but what just like just like what I said, the three days is still over the ocean, so it remains to be seen. Let's hope and pray that all models will bend more to the north without any uh, landfall over the Philippine Islands. That's what we pray. And uh, here's the uh, global models as of uh, uh, 8 a.m. yesterday. We have the latest for the next few hours, but we are going to reserve that for the next update. Maybe later tonight, we'll try to give you another update. Now, here's the American model, okay, towards Okinawa. And here's the uh, European model towards Central Luzon. So, it's so wide. Look at the discrepancy of the tracks. Here's the uh, Canadian model. This is the Canadian model, and this one is the U.S. Navy model. So it's it's so wide. Uh, we still uh, we need the blend of like this. Okay, so this forecast is within three days. So when you hit four day up to five day forecast. The uh, forecast models goes haywire, so we still don't know. And we are going to monitor this as time goes by. Okay, so uh, here's the uh, fast animation. There you go. Starting to move towards the north. If you clearly see here, using the uh, windy.com satellite animation, the zoom one using the visible night vision image, the track of this LPA is currently moving slightly towards the north northeast like this. Okay. It's still organizing, trying to consolidate after that strong upper level winds or wind shear. Uh, that's the reason why it's a slow developing system. And it keeps on uh, delaying on uh, the possible uh, close uh, approach towards the Philippine Islands. But uh, let's all hope. And pray that it will not make any landfall. Okay, and uh, here's the uh, rain forecast for the next three days. So this afternoon we expect another round of thunderstorms across Bicol, Mimarapa, Visayas, Mindanao, and also in other portions of the country. Let's take a look here on Friday afternoon. Another round. All across the country, there will be some lots of thunderstorms. And uh, here is the storm organizing still east of Bicol. Saturday afternoon, uh, if we are going to use the European model, it will move closer. But look at the rainfall. So every afternoon, every day, we expect these thunderstorms to be a frequent visitor. Uh, even the storm is out there, or the LPA is out there, but it will uh, keep on uh, increasing until uh, the approach of the system. Sunday afternoon, if the track of the ECMWF pushes through, we'll be having some rain showers and thunderstorms as well as we are on the edge of the circulation of this uh, uh, soon-to-be tropical uh, cyclone or typhoon Egai. Okay, so again, this forecast on Sunday remains highly uncertain. We still don't know what will be the true forecast since most of the models are haywire as of this time. And uh, we are going to give you the very latest uh, later this evening or early tomorrow morning, Friday. But uh, I'll try my best to give you or to keep you updated 
just uh, check out our website typhoon2000.ph and typhoon2000.info our facebook page mrtyphoon.com our youtube channel mrtyphoon.tv don't forget to subscribe for you to keep uh, to be uh, updated all the time again this is mike padua saying good night need to uh, have some rest we've been uh, awake uh, since uh, 11 p.m it's already uh, 2 a.m uh, we don't like our health to uh, become uh, worst okay stay safe always and thank you so much for watching our channel